Fran Drescher, she has an out-of-this-world claim. The actress told the Huffington Post both she and her husband were abducted by aliens as children. Drescher went on to say these aliens even implanted a chip in their hands. Both she and her husband have the same scar. In case you're wondering, Drescher was not joking. She says they were both in junior high driving when their fathers, with their fathers, when they saw their respective extraterrestrials. Her husband, however, doesn't think an ET implanted a chip in him. Rather, the scar might be from a drill bit or maybe a hot cup of water. But Drescher says that's just what aliens programmed him to think. So what do you think of her alleged alien encounter? Do you think it's possible or just a ploy for attention? I think it was her ex-husband. Is that right? Because I think they have, I think they've split up since then. Well, it, either way, they're not on the same page. Yeah, right. they, they've split up. They're not on the same page, at least when it comes to what, what, what the <laughs> what star that represents. Night? My goodness, I actually checked IDMB because I thought, how long has it been since Fran Drescher has done something? Maybe this was just a, an attempt for some publicity, but she's actually been working yeah, steadily in recent show. years. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, that, that wouldn't be the, uh, the She route. has a new sitcom, and, and I think it's loosely based on her real life. And what do, yes. you, what do you think of this, well, you Felicia Rodellini? I guess if people have a belief and they have a memory of something strange like this, I'm not going to discount it right. um, because it's none of my business. Um, I, and it could very well be a publicity stunt to get more attention. And if, why doesn't her husband agree with her? You know, I think that might be kind of strange. Happily divorced. That's her series. Happily mm -hmm. divorced. Well, it's one of those situations, especially here in the Valley, in Arizona and Vegas, there are people who believe mm -hmm. strongly yes. about um, aliens and, and the, other, the other life that could possibly be out there. This is a really big deal. Yeah. And being abducted by aliens is not so far-fetched. And, and many people say they have been. Yes. And there was a movie, I went to the movie theater and saw it in the 90s, about an abduction in Flagstaff. Mm -hmm. um, so I, th I would like to give her the benefit of the doubt. And we are just one little planet in a very huge cosmos. It's, it's hard to imagine that as big as the universe is, that we're the only ones out there. But I have to say, I am a skeptic. But given that, I, I would never discount what someone says. Right. I mean, uh, who knows? I, if an alien came up to me, I would have to believe. And there have been have people to. that I've met that I thought were a little bit alien. <laughs> so, you know, um, there could be some among us, for all I know. Uh, you know, I ha I, I'm going to agree with you 100% on that one. Here's what you guys are saying on Facebook. Well, Noel Rosen writes, who's to say she wasn't? They do walk amongst us. Oh. I wasn't an <laughs> abductee, but I have seen them and UFOs. One of my parents has also encountered them as well. Take pictures. No, I see yeah, pictures. We, we do want to see pictures, No, Socorro Martinez, LOL, I wonder what she was smoking. And <laughs> Belize Dini says, wonder if they gave her that laugh, that infamous Fran <laughs> yes. Drescher laugh. For Jennifer Creasy Turner. Um, don't believe in them at all. So no, I do not believe her either. And a lot of people would say, you know, who are we to say? Who are we? How are we the authority in extraterrestrials? We're not. We're the, the not. We're, 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 skept or, we're skeptics, but we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt, right? Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm on both. I've heard very strong opinions on both sides. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to stay right, right in the middle. <laughs>